This tutorial is about Compton, uh, what's possible of what is already installed at the moment when we're filming Compton. So Compton is already running. That's normal um, because of uh, the possibility that Antergos gives us out of the box. So when we go to the system here, we can see that Compton is already installed. When we go to elements from um, Let's let's make uh, let's make the tutorial a bit longer. Let's first show you what content is, where it's coming from. I have another idea to make it interesting. Um, so we have this Antergos open box installation, personal settings, and I've added the content file, which is coming from Arch i3. So you copy paste this to your .config directory. And this is the one from Antergos, so I kept it. So this is the code from Antergos, and this is mine code. So when I restart the system, what does OpenBox do? OpenBox is going to auto start this file. And what does this file say? Start the program content, the configuration file is here. And put it in the background, meaning let's make it demonize it or make a demon from it. And keep on going so in the background so when we reboot this file will be loaded and it's coming now from github rather than from antergos and let's now take a look at what the difference is if you open things and close things it's a bit slower it's fading in and fading out the menus are transparent conkeys are transparent as well the shadow is a bit bigger than normal I've made it a bit larger so I can see the shadows when we open some different programs you'll see immediately the difference between uh, previously so when we click here this is transparent it's not active so it's gonna be transparent the same applies for all the rest these elements will be dimmed in the background menus are fading with all that uh, the Fade in, fade out, fade out is this effect we can have. So all these elements do matter and makes our system a little bit more sexy and, and slow. And Compton is not that difficult to understand. So let's take a look at our .config file, which is here. Compton, all you need to know that a few blocks there's the block about the shadow, there's a block about opacity, and the block about fading. And all you have to do is change one thing at a time and retest it. So if you want menu opacity, a little bit more, try it with 0.8, save it, test it. And then figure out what you like and don't like, figure out if you want to have active opacity, 0.8, or frame opacity, 0 0.8 if you want it or not it's between these numbers that you should fill it in and best thing is to try one by one and see uh, so you know after time what you changed and change it back if it's not to your liking so that's uh, Compton for you it's uh, it's easy it's already installed we only changed the, the content of this file and we can ch change it even more and make it even more individual that's up to you.